so let us look at few properties of uh, regular expressions the first property is phi plus r is equal to r where r is representing a regular expression see when i'm saying phi there's a difference between phi and epsilon there's a difference between phi and epsilon epsilon means it is a string whose length is zero right it is not an empty set and phi is representing an empty set that means when i'm saying this is an empty set this empty set is represented by phi but when i'm saying this epsilon epsilon means that it is a string of length zero and here r is representing a regular expression so if you do a union of any regular expression with an empty set then you will get that particular regular expression In the same way if you concatenate any regular expression with an empty set then you get an empty set now epsilon dot r is equal to r dot epsilon is equal to epsilon dot r dot epsilon which is equal to r itself right where epsilon is a string of length zero and r is representing a regular expression for example if we have epsilon dot a plus b it is actually equivalent to a plus b only when you take a clan closure of epsilon then you get epsilon itself when you take a clan closure of phi then you get epsilon if you do a union of same regular expression then you get the same regular expression for example if you do a plus b union a plus b then this is equal to a plus b only if you do r star r star then it equal to r star that means if you do a star dot a star then it is equal to a star only okay now if you do r star star that means if you do a star again star of that then it is equal to a star only now if you do epsilon plus r dot r star when i'm saying r dot r star this r dot r star is actually representing r plus that means it is not containing epsilon symbol but if we add an epsilon symbol if you do r plus plus epsilon symbol then it becomes r star so here we are also doing the same thing we are adding epsilon symbol with r plus so it will be only equivalent to r star only if you do p q whole star concatenated with p this is equal to p concatenated with q p whole star okay p concatenated with q p whole star okay if we have p plus q whole star then this is equivalent to this right and when we have p plus q r p plus q concatenated with r then this is equal to p plus p concatenated with r plus q concatenated with r when we have r dot p plus q then this is equal to r p plus r q when we have r is equal to q plus r p then this is equal to this can be written as q plus p star this is called as called as ardens theorem this is ardens theorem ardens theorem how can you prove the ardens theorem that means if we have r is equal to q plus r p where p q and r all are representing a regular expression now here you can put the value of r so it will be q plus uh, q plus r p dot p which is equal to q plus q p plus r p dot p again you can put the value of r so it will be q plus q p and what is the value of r r is equal to q plus r p so it is q plus r p dot p p which is equal to q plus q p plus q p p plus r triple p and so on so here if you take q as common so it is epsilon plus p plus p p plus p p p p and so on plus r p p p p which is equivalent to saying it is this is p star so it is q p star it is q p star therefore the complete expression can be represented by q p star that means i can even extend this r so if i extend this r till infinity so the complete expression will be q dot epsilon plus p plus p p plus p p p and so on till infinity so it can be written as q p star therefore if we have r is equal to q plus uh, r p or you can say then it can be written as q p star okay 
I think this is very simple, right? So you need to remember. I think this is the, uh, most of these, uh, you know, um, regular expressions are very intuitive, but you need to remember all these things if you want to solve some problems related to gate examinations or UGC net examination. Uh, you have to solve the problems related to that only. Okay. So now let us take. Uh, let us see how can you convert a given finite automata. To a regular expression, and then how can you convert a regular expression to a given finite automata? Right, so there are different ways possible. Uh, the one way is the elimination method, but I'm not going to use the elimination method here. That elimination method is only good for you know simple or smaller problems, right? But if you get a complicated or complex problem, then sometimes you may be using the uh, method, if, uh, you know, using this Arden's theorem, you are going to eliminate that. Then we will see, right? Then we will see uh, those expressions and we can get a particular regular expression we'll see don't worry we'll see a lot more examples and we'll see different methods okay now let us move on to the next part